the get methods uh, are called uh, uh, accessor methods or uh, simply accessors uh, and they um, provide uh, the information uh, uh, stored in uh, a field's value uh, to uh, color uh, and so they provide uh, access to this information and that's why they're called accessor methods. Um, the difference uh, with uh, uh, get price and get balance is that they just simply um, okay basically they, they both return uh, to statements return doesn't mean that they print something it's just a way to uh, it, the way in which uh, two parts of uh, the program uh, can um, exchange information uh, it's a difference between get price and get balance uh, in the headers and in the body is that um, they ju just uh, return to different uh, uh, fields uh, price and balance so they access this they are accessors to these uh, fields um, if um, I change uh, get balance to uh, get amount uh, it will not uh, make uh, any difference about uh, uh, changing the uh, name of the uh, of the field that is returned uh, and so uh, what can be uh, a question uh, while uh, for good price uh, a good question would be uh, what a ticket would uh, cost um, and so th that's what it, uh, it this method will kind of answer uh, for get balance uh, um, a good question would be um, w what is the uh, uh, money uh, that uh, was already inserted um, other um, exercises ask so let's see uh, oops so uh, Okay, so uh, what do tickets go? Okay, uh, so the difference uh, with ticket amount, the return do, uh, doesn't need to be changed. Uh, the, okay, so uh, the name of an accessor method and the name of the field uh, don't have much relation except. Uh, they, they give hints about uh, what the field calls and what uh, the method will return so uh, um, an accessor method usually uh, will have something in common uh, semantically with uh, uh, the field the name and the, also another relation is that 
uh, the type of uh, the field should be the same as the uh, return type of the accessor method. Um, now the difference uh, no uh, the get total. Okay, so we have to write an accessor method get total uh, to return the value of the total field. So I can put this back to balance. Get balance and I can create a method with uh, exactly the same structure with only a return statement for get total and it will return to total. So it is, um, is uh, an accessor method for. Um, Total. So it will return to Then uh, try to move the return statement from the body of get price and let's see whatever uh, does come up uh, when uh, uh, the class is compiled and it says uh, missing return statement. Okay, then uh, what else? Okay, let's look at the headers of get price and print ticket. So the difference of get price and print ticket. Um, everything is the same. It's, uh, okay, so uh, only the name and uh, the type. The return type change. Okay, so this is the main difference: the the type between the price. You get price as a return type of print and um, print ticket as a return type of void. Void uh, is um, uh, return a special return type. Uh, that um, is used for uh, methods like this, which um, don't have a return statement. So insert money and print ticket are uh, this kind of uh, um, methods, uh, which are, uh, they set, uh, they change uh, the state of uh, some values. Uh, so um, they uh, uh, have a more, more fundamental role than the uh, accessor methods. Uh, these are called um, mutator uh, uh, methods or um, uh, just uh, mutators uh, because they actually change uh, uh, the, the state uh, of uh, one or more values, um, they do, uh, don't have any return statement because no information has to be communicated to to to, to another part of the program. Uh, and um, what is changed? It basically changes the, fi the the values in some fields. Um, the uh, um, void um, return type means that uh, uh, there is no return statement. So in blue J, uh, there will be no um, return value di dialog. Uh, and um, in uh, Java, uh, it's allowed uh, to have a special return statement for. Uh, methods that uh, have a return type uh, that is void, uh, which is uh, just return with a semicolon. Um, in insert money, um, the, uh, there is just one uh, assignment statement, 
uh, which uh, um, can be um, which can be um, what can I say um, uh, explored or in it is uh, it is a signing statement um, uh, is uh, uh, com uh, not computer, um, uh, basically um, uh, to read it um, uh, we have to um, look at the uh, uh, right hand uh, side um, uh, at the right hand side uh, uh, value uh, so after the uh, assignment symbol uh, and uh, it, in this case basically uh, the value stored in the balance field um, is uh, uh, summed with the, uh, the value in um, uh, the amount um, parameter and um, it uh, gets assigned then to uh, the balance field. So what is happening is that uh, balance gets incremented. The, balance, uh, the value in the balance field gets incremented by uh, the value in the, uh, in the amount parameter. Uh, so this can be um, since this is a, a common uh, uh, assignment. Uh, um, the, it's so common that. Uh, it ha it can be uh, written with um, uh, a compound uh, uh, a compound uh, uh, assignment operator uh, plus sequence. Um, uh, the, the the most basic of the uh, set methods. Um, the accessor methods uh, is uh, just one statement uh, that assigns um, uh, the, the value of the parameter uh, to the value of a field. Uh, so uh, for the exercises, let's see. But yes, it's a single parameter that um, directly writes at the end, right? Ah, yeah, and uh, the distinguishing uh, uh, effect of uh, uh, the um, of the mutator methods uh, is that uh, the um, uh, behavior of the class of the object uh, changes uh, between uh, before and after uh, the uh, set the, the, the mutator method is called to try out this um, we can create a, a ticket machine uh, object uh, with uh, some price and um, for um, the get balance and the first time it gives us zero uh, then uh, if some money um, is uh, inserted uh, like 20 uh, the, and calling the get balance again will uh, show the different output which is 20 um, this happens uh, exactly because uh, the uh, insert money is uh, um, a mutator uh, method and 
uh, other exercises. Let's see. Do you remember? Um, Um, how can we tell from just a seller that the price is a method and not a constructor? Well, it has this void return type, uh, and constructors are not allowed to have uh, any kind of returns, uh, return types. Uh, they can have parameters like cost, but uh, they cannot have return types. So it is a method. Uh, the body uh, of set price so that it assigns the price uh, is it par its parameter to the price function. Um, set price. Set price. Or get price. No? Complete the body set price method. There is no set price. So maybe there is no set price. <laughs> Uh, you can create them. so uh, public void because it's uh, a data metal set price um, and Parameter uh, uh, so price equals Okay, so basically, so this is a um, uh, the method for that, and complete the body of the following method. So this is to add the value of its parameter to a finite score so it can be done um, so uh, score Equals score plus points, or um, score plus equals points, which is uh, equivalent. So it's the increase method. Amitator uh, increase method. Okay, it's this one that we have. Uh, it is a mutator, and we can demonstrate it because okay, uh, we can uh, make um, uh, get um, uh, we can make um, an accessor method for uh, score get score uh, and so call get score. Uh, before calling increase uh, and then calling increase and then calling uh, 
uh, get score again and it will uh, show different output so that's how we will see that it is a, a mutator method um, and we can demonstrate it this way um, so to reduce the price to uh, amount uh, amount equals uh, amount minus price semicolon and here also we have to put the semicolon okay 